It's time for Talking Pints. Yes, full normal service has been resumed. And my guest this evening is Lord Morris Glasman, who joins me on the programme. Welcome to Talking Pints. The King. The King, absolutely. Now, we're looking, of course, behind us here, for those watching on television, at the Palace of Westminster, where you have been ensconced. For a while. Since 2011, as yeah. a Labour peer. Um, must have been fairly extraordinary. We've had the, the joint meeting of the Lords and the Commons, the speakers of both, the King, mm. and to me as a Brexiteer, that sovereignty, the King in Parliament, our that is what it was all about, isn't it? Our sovereign King, our sovereign lady is now the sovereign King, and it was remarkable, Nigel, because I love the ancient constitution, the balance of power rather than the separation of powers. I think we've got a stronger democracy than America, for example, or France. I think there's, there's more to it. And what happened was the Speaker of the Lords, Speaker of the Commons, pledged their fidelity to the king but what the king said was he pledged to support democracy and liberty so that was the covenant it was yes. uh, it's, we haven't got a social contract we've got a covenant an institutional covenant and it was remarkable to see it alive the room was yes, alive with it i mean you you know you're an academic and you know well you know don't exaggerate well you are and you lecture on political theory and mm -hmm. things like this and you understand the british constitution better than most you know, for most of us, for most of the country, we've learnt for the first time what a constitutional monarchy is. Well, this is the incredible thing, is that the monarchy underwrites democracy. We've got, it's a paradox, it sounds yeah. wrong, but it yeah. is right. And I think that's the way also to understand Blue Labour, it's a like, what? Well, We're going to come to that. that yeah. But that combination of radical and traditional is the beauty of our constitution. And the key thing is, it's the king in parliament. Yeah. I mean, the reason we had to chop Charles the first head off was he tried to rule without Parliament you mentioned it just now mm. why does the Prime Minister have this authority to do a billion here a mm. billion there mm. that's a completely legitimate constitutional point you've got to work in Parliament so the tendency is always for the executive used to be the monarchy now yep. it's the government yep. to break the bonds of accountability and we have to keep them straight absolutely and that's what Parliament's for and what Parliament does sometimes well sometimes perhaps not so well sometimes uh, not too bad really I mean in terms yeah. of the accountability is there and now we are living in our sovereign state yep. we can hold the politicians to account yep. they can't hide behind Brussels no absolutely you know, they well, are well, accountable. Well, cheers to that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 